Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to enable the latest Magic Compose feature using, using Bard AI in Google Message app. So first and foremost, you have to root from my magic. For that, I made a separate guide on the same. But just to recall, let's do this task as well. So first off, you have to download the same firmware, which is currently installed onto your phone. So verify the firmware version from the About Phone section under Build Number and download the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone. Once you've got the firmware, extract it and get hold of the boot IMG file. Once you've got the stock boot IMG file, place it onto your phone and turn your storage. As you can see from here, this is a stock boot IMG file corresponding to the current firmware which is installed onto my phone. You could verify the firmware version from the About Phone Build Number section. So once you've got the stock boot IMG file, place it onto your phone and then you have to download the Magis APK file. You could again refer to my guide and download the APK file from here. Once you've got the APK file, Transfer the APK file onto your phone as well. You could transfer the file from here. So this is the boot IMG file and it's the magic APK file. So as of now, you should be having both this file onto your phone. So let's now proceed ahead and install the magic app. So launch it and tap on install. So the app has now been installed. So just tap on open. And now you have to tap on install next to magic. Then choose select and patch of file. And now select the stock boot IMG file which you have extracted from the firmware and tap on let's go. Magic will now patch this file. And the patch file will be placed inside the downloads folder. So let me access the download folder for, of my phone. And this is the magic patch file. So let's copy this file and you have to paste the file inside the platform tool folder on your PC. I have given the link to download this tool. So download the tool and extract them onto your PC. You can extract them anywhere you want. So once you've got the platform tools folder, simply copy paste the boot IMG file over here. This is the patch boot IMG file which you have got after patching via magic. Once you've got this file, you have to now enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to settings menu, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable USB developer option. Now go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once that is done, go to the platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform to folder. Now type in ADB, reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone should now go to the fast boot mode in a few seconds. In the meantime, let's now rename the file to something more meaningful. So for the ease of convenience, I am renaming it to magic underscore patch underscore boot dot img. So img is already there. So just rename it to magic patch boot. So with this, we have got the patch file on the platform folder and it's renamed as magic patch boot. So our phone is now in the fast boot mode. So let's now temporarily boot our phone using this patch file. Before that, type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you'll have to install fastboot drivers. Once you've installed the drivers, use the Windows X shortcut keys and select device manager, then expand the Android phone section. And under Android phone, your phone should be shown as Android bootloader interface, as you can see from here. So this and the device ID signifies that the fastboot drivers are installed. I've given a guide as well as a video on how you can install the fastboot drivers. You could refer to my guide and install those drivers. Once that is done, Let's now boot our phone using this patch file to type in password boot and name of the file which is magic underscore patch underscore boot dot img and our phone will now boot using this patch boot img file. You should never flash the patch file. You should always first boot it because if something is wrong with the patch file and you have used the flash command, then your phone might end up in a soft brick or a bootloop state. On the other hand, if you have used the boot command and something is wrong with the patch file, then upon a subsequent reboot, your phone will automatically boot to the OS without any issues. So always first use the fastboot boot command. And as you can see, our phone is now rooted, but it's now temporarily rooted because we have used the boot command. Let me show you that as well. So let's now launch the magic cap. And as of now, I obtain root for runtime usage. So let's now make the root permanent as well. So tap on install next to magic and select direct install recommended and tap on let's go. So with this, our phone should now be rooted in a few seconds. Magic is now flashing the new boot IMG file. Once that is done, you'll get a reboot button. So tap on reboot and our phone should now boot to the rooted OS in a few seconds. So I, as I, I was telling you, you should always use the boot command. And if your phone boots to the OS, then you could use the direct install of magic to obtain permanent root. You should never use the fastboot flash command. With that said, our phone should now boot to the OS. And with this, our phone should now be rooted by magic. And I'll show you that as well. So let's just wait for a few seconds. And then we'll move ahead with the next step of this guide. So let me first unlock my phone quickly once it boots with the OS. 
so let's unlock the device and as you could see let me now launch the magic app or rather bring the app to the home screen so with this just to verify you could see i have got the magic file and this is the latest build so we could now proceed ahead with the next step you could also verify the root using the root checker app if you want but since we have obtained root there is no need for that next up you have to download and install the google dialer mod from github the name of this mod is now changed and it has been renamed to let me show you the new name of this mod so it's the google dialer mod let me show you once the new name of this mod as well so it's now named as dapps mod so that's not an issue just keep in mind that is that they both are the same things it's written on their github page as well google dialer mod is now known as dapps mod they both are the same thing so download the link from this link you could download the apk file or i have also given the direct link to download the google dialer mod from here so guys let's proceed ahead and install the app so simply launch the google dialer mod app and tap on install with this the app will be installed in a few seconds once that is done tap open and it will now ask for the root permission so tap on grant with this it has obtained root and now you have to enable the toggle next to the these fours or rather these five you could skip this one so the four ones are force enable smart compose force enable magic compose force enable smart action and force enable sticker settings so out of these four as you could see this is the smart bard ai but apart from that you also have to enable the rest of the three settings as well so make sure to enable all these four settings and once you have enabled these four settings you have to do a restart of your phone this restart is compulsory so let's now do a restart once our phone reboots we will then do a four stop of the google messaging app and after doing a four stop a couple of times you will get this bard ai even then if you haven't got the bard ai then you will have to remove the data of the messaging app and after that you will then get the bard ai so it's just in a testing phase so currently we have to do a, a format or rather a four stop of the app a couple of time and then we will have to remove the, the data of the app as well so it's just trial and test method so until you achieve success you have to do a few tweaks so as of now let's me now unlock my phone and before moving any ahead any further you will first and foremost have to force stop the messaging app so long press on the messaging app icon and select app info and now tap on force stop tap on okay then launch the google messages app and again you have to do a force stop again tap on okay and launch the app and now open any inbox or write a new message and you should now see the bar icon next to the text message as you could see this is the pencil icon if you are not seeing this pencil icon then you have to do a remove the data of the messaging app so from the app info go to storage and cache tap on clear storage then tap on delete and once that is done you have to do a, a four stop and then once again launch the messaging app and make sure you are getting this icon once you got this icon you now have to go online so let me quickly connect to the internet in a few seconds and then we will check out the bar as well so we are now online once you are now online and you got this icon you could type in any messages as you want and simply tap on this and it will now bring out the suggestion this is the remix a mixture of all the messages then we have the shakespeare style so it's a kind of, of a poetry so shall we conclude this day's labor shall we call it today my love shall we call it today my friend then we have a chill messages in this section you could see it's let's wrap it up yeah peace out and such things then under excited you will get messages like it's been great working with you let's get out here and some emojis next to every messages then under lyrical this one is my favorite you will get a, a four line poems for each messages such as it's time we call it a night our work has been a delight we have done our best so let's all take a rest so as you could see these are the four line or five line poems for all all our messages then next one is the formal approach under one single line shall we conclude our work for the day and next one is the short messages of a few, only a few words so call it a day you could choose from here as well and as of now you could also give it a feedback if you want it will help the google ai bar to understand your feedback and improve the product as well and as of now you could choose from all these products and if you could if you haven't written any messages as well then google bar will show you suggest you some message just tap on the message icon and as you could see it will bring up a few message so great talking to you let's catch up again soon and these are the some of the suggestions as you could see so let's try out something else so can we meet tomorrow and now let's 
check out this suggestion so let's start with the shakespeare one and under shall we meet on the morrow might we meet on the morrow would do you meet the honor of meeting with me on the morrow so as you could see there are still a few rough edges that need to be polished so as of now it's not able to catch up the word tomorrow it's understanding the word tomorrow as some kind of a place so as you could see it's showing us might we meet on the morrow so it, it is thinking that morrow is a place and we have to meet there so it's currently in the alpha stage not even in the beta stage so these works are along the expected line if i take out the chill messages then let's check out are you down to hang tomorrow so this one is working well and good are we on for tomorrow then excited yeah, can we meet tomorrow? I would love to meet you tomorrow. Under lyrical, it will bring up a few lines of poem. Can we see each other soon? We can meet. That would be cool. Let's plan something nice and have a grand old time. Why not? So even though it might not rhyme, but that's not an issue. Most of the times it rhymes. I have so shall we meet tomorrow, my dear? I have got time. If you're not in a fear, we can grab a coffee or a beer or just sit and talk. What do you say, dear? So in a matter of few seconds, you are getting these prompts, which are definitely quite commendable so under formal as well would it be possible to for us to meet tomorrow you could use this formal if you are having a chat with your boss or an office colleague then these are the short messages as you could see so guys this was all from this guide just to repeat first and foremost you have to root it from my images then you have to install the google dialer mod from here then install the mod launch it and give it the magic prompt now you have to enable the last four toggles out of which this is the most important but apart from the bar AI, you also have to enable the toggles next to all these three. Once that is done, you have to now force stop the app, force stop the Google messaging app from here. And once you have done the force stop, you have to then restart your phone. Upon the restart, once again do a force stop a couple of times and then launch the app and see if you're getting the icon or not. If you are still not getting this icon, let me expand the image. So if you are still not able to get this icon, then you will have to remove the data of the messaging app. This will not remove any of the SMS. It's already backed up. It will just remove the app data settings. So you then have to go to Surat and Cache and remove the app data. And once you have removed the app data, you have to do so a couple of times. Then once again, do a force stop of the app. And upon doing a force stop, you will then get this app icon. So it's just a hit and trial method. Do a force stop a couple of times, then restart your phone, then remove the data, and again do a force stop. And ultimately, you will get this app icon. So one more thing which I found was that even if you now remove the root from your phone, you will still be getting this app icon. So it was only needed for the first time usage. From the subsequent usage, you don't have to even root your phone. So let me first remove my root and then I'll show you that as well. So first off, let me remove the Google app mod from here. And once that is done, let me launch the Magisk app and tap on uninstall Magisk. Complete uninstall and it will now remove the root and then automatically root a phone to the OS within a few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we'll verify the result. So in the meantime, there's an important thing to discuss. I forgot to tell you in the beginning, you have to be currently on the latest Google Messages beta app. It will not work in the stable app. You have to be on the beta version of the Google Messaging app. You could either do so from Play Store. If it's open right now, let me check out once Play Store Google Messages. So let me first verify from here if the beta play store is open or not. So you, as of now, you might not be able to join from the play store. That's not an issue. Simply search for Google messages, beta tester will also do. And then go to this official page of Google. And from here, you have to sign in with your account, the same account which is there on your phone, and then click on become a tester. With this, you will become a tester and you will now get an update on your phone to install that update from Play Store and then you will be part of the Google Messaging Beta app. So make sure you do this task as well. Anyway, let's now move on. And as you could see, I removed root from my phone and the Magisk app has also been removed. So as of now, my phone is not rooted. So let's now launch the messaging app. And so as you could see, we have once again got the bar icon. And my phone is not rooted, so I could now use this bar without the need to root any further. So just to check out. A hectic day today. So as you could see, it's still working well and good. 
so you just only need root for the initial setup then from the subsequent time you could remove the root and then you, could, you will still be getting this bar icon and the bar ai so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching